Hi, my name is James Freed. I'm the Chief Information Officer at Health Education England. I'm also the Programme Director for a programme called Building a Digital Ready Workforce. Digital readiness, it appears, is a combination of being digitally willing and digitally able. Now, being digitally willing and digitally able is partly the capabilities, the skills, the knowledge, the behaviour, the attitude that each and every one of us brings to work or is able to bring to work to enable us to solve problems for ourselves, for our colleagues, our peers and also our service users, mostly our patients. But there are elements to being digitally willing and digitally able that our organisation owns on our behalf. If you work in an organisation which has a culture that doesn't support you to solve those problems, that is too hierarchical, that's too risk averse, you can't be digitally willing. Similarly, if you work in an organisation where you don't have the tools to work, then you can't be digitally able. Our nursing staff said thank you uh, for talking about digital readiness and digital tools, but the things that we really want are a device that works, connectivity, uh, we need an electronic patient record that is decent, and please, please, please don't create policies that mean we can't use the first three. And Building a Digital Ready Workforce has products and services trying to address all of those areas. The term digital itself is quite divisive, so really when we talk about digital leadership we just mean good quality leadership fit for a highly adaptable world. And healthcare is adapting, or should be adapting, as quick as every other industry. We're not. So how do we help organisations to be more adaptable? So we've done some analysis that's uh, identified eight dimensions of good, what we call digital leadership, you could uh, equally say um, eight dimensions of learning organisations or quality improvement or continuous improvement or uh, um, uh, leadership culture um, that help organisations be more adaptable. So we're working with the Care Quality Commission to ensure that our digital leadership dimensions are included within the well-led framework. More importantly, we're working with other organisations to develop board development sessions, um, either at individual organisation level or ICS, STP type level, um, to help uh, uh, educate and support board level leaders to live these eight dimensions of digital leadership. So if I was to summarise, digital and digital leadership are things that, although we know they scare people, we need to move away from that. At the end of the day, Good digital leadership is just good leadership, and digital readiness is really just adaptability. If you work in an organisation which embodies those two things, you're onto a winner.